hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so i'm gonna be, i'm making this video at night because i won't have any time to make any videos tomorrow it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow but i want to cover this story so this is the story of a, a native doctor that was kidnapped a native doctor this guy apparently is kind of like popular online <clears throat> He posts a lot online and, you know, he posts a bit of flashy stuff. Let me actually read it to you guys. A bit of about how a, how this is a Premium Times shared it. Premium Times says, a gunman abduct, popular Anambra native doctor, killed two security aides. They killed two of the, his aides, right? Basically, he's security people. So these are supposed to be security that he, he's supposed to feel safe. That, okay, has two security people working for him. They ended those people's lives. To show you how bad this situation is. Look, you would think that, oh, as he's a native dog, he does some kind of things online that you would think some people may be like, oh, wow, he's a native doctor. We don't want to go there. Do you know what I mean, right? But they didn't care. They still ended their lives. Of two of let me just read a bit of it from premium times government have abducted a popular native doctor in oba um, a community in idemili south uh, local government area of anambra state south uh, east nigeria <clears throat> excuse me the victim chuku does uh chuku otherwise known as aqua okoko tiwaraki was abducted Sunday night from his hotel room by the gunmen who also shot two of his security aides to death. You know that those gunmen didn't come to play. Like they didn't instantly already ended the lives of his security uh, uh, people, right? Two of them ended their lives like on the spot. And let me tell you guys, that's one thing that came to my mind anyways, is for them to have gone to his hotel room, how did they know he was there? The, just the questions are coming to my mind because I, I may be wrong, but I'm feeling like somebody. In, what if? Okay, let me say what if. What if is the staff of the hotel that uh, got this, gave out the information that oh, there's a big fish here, because this guy apparently flaunts cash online, flaunts money and like a, a lavish, lavish lifestyle, luxurious lifestyle and everything. So he's already. You know, that's another thing I think about sometimes. Those of us that live abroad, when we hear about the insecurity and everything in Nigeria, and then you see some influencers or, or uh, celebrities, uh, you know, flaunting, the, look at my latest house, look at my latest car, look at... And you're like wondering. I wonder sometimes, I'm like, ah, I bet this insecurity is not as bad as we're thinking. Because if it's that bad, why do they flaunt their, you know, their uh, um, luxury life and their, you know, look at my latest house, look at my latest car. I'm wearing designer shoes, designer clothes. I'm like, are they not putting themselves at risk? I've always wondered if it's as bad as they're telling us, why do they flaunt all these things? Why not just live your life private, keep your whatever, your wealth on the, on the low and not put it out there? This guy post a lot online and i don't even know if whether he even posted to say i am in this hotel if he didn't then maybe a staff of the hotel anybody there could have been like oh there's big fish here do you know that eh? kidnappers they don't in my language you say kidnappers don't sit somewhere and just sniff ah there's there's somebody there that is going to fetch us a lot of money if we kidnap him there'll be a lot of money do you know what i mean they, they still need informants Okay, let me see. Many people were heard lamenting the attack while others who were wailing appeared to surround bodies believed to be those of the slain security aides of the native doctor. Abduction for ransom in the community is not new. But the case of the native doctor was a surprise to many. Uh, was a surprise to many residents of the community. You know, sometimes people may think, oh, because he's a native doctor, he may be a no-go area. Do you know what I mean? It now says, uh, this is because Mr. Umwagu was among the most feared native doctors in the area. The native doctor is notable for his powers to prepare anti-bullet charms and perform other rituals for people who visit his shrine. Akwa Okoko uh, Tiwaraki of Oba was kidnapped last night. He actually is the owner of the hotel. 
If you read down, it says Triple P, where the attack occurred, is among the hotels owned by the native doctor. Wow. When contacted on Monday morning, the police spokesperson in Anambra State, uh, Tochuku Ikenga, confirmed the abduction of the native doctor and killing of his security aides. Mr. Ikenga, a deputy superintendent of police, said the incident happened uh, around 11.30 p.m. on Sunday. And as far as I know, up to now, I don't think there's been any updates, if there's a ransom being requested, if there's anything like that. <sighs> you see, sometimes, you know, Nigerian, you know, Nigerian matter, they tire somebody. And you see, this is a country where is his family that will be trying to see if they will if they will get a phone call for ransom you know if they they will even be praying let it be that they will ask for ransom because there are cases where people are just picked up and they're never found again no ransom was ever asked for you know the country and the, the thing is this what else something else that came to my mind apparently there's this uh, nigerian apparently this nigerian uh, actress they call a uh, eniola badmos I know her last name is Bad Eniola Badmos. So there was a girl that came out. That's what I'm now thinking about. There was a girl that came out and made a video and said that her, her friend is engaged and uh, whatever, whatever, that uh, Eniola went and uh, saw the lady and called her and kind of basically, long story short, was trying to arrange her friend to to sleep with politicians and stuff like that. And she now started, the lady, the particular lady was making video and just basically accusing Eniola of being a, um, a pimp and all of that like she connects people with politicians and she's uh, whatever whatever you know but within days that late that within days that girl was already picked up and your lad got her arrested like that within days days and i'm saying so our police can fish people out out of when that girl post that thing she no put her address for the tiktok that she posted she didn't put her address they were able to trace that girl to her house. There was a video where the girl was panicking and said, yeah, Niola have sent so and so to come and uh, come and break down my door. If anything happens to me, guys, is a uh, Niola. She was saying they are banging on my door. They are trying to break my door. And all. from in the comfort of her, of her own home, they came there and picked her up. In that same country, me, I'm not, me, I'm not in support of defamation. I don't even know the full story. If the girl was telling the truth, if she was lying, if it was defamation, I don't even know. That's not what my video is about. My thing is this. If such a girl can be fished out just from an Instagram, just from a making a post on the internet, why are our police not as active when it comes to ca catching bad guys? Why? You see what I don't understand about that country. Another one is people that will doing a scam calls. They will call somebody and say, yeah, your family member is sick in hospital. One thing, one thing, one thing. Uh, your family member is uh, in a hospital. Uh, bring money for surgery. Da, da, da. And they will give you the bank account. The bank account number of a Nigerian bank account. And these victims will pay thinking maybe, thinking it's true that the family member needed urgent, urgent surgery. And the account is the Nigerian bank account. After they collect all this money, people now find out that ah, it was fake a call. Oh, this is a scam. Is it not supposed to be simple that the person can just walk to the bank? Uh, what is walk to the bank? Okay, let's see if you walk to the bank and say, This person, somebody took my money. And my sister or my brother or my uncle or my cousin was truly was not truly in the hospital. They gave me first bank account number. So now, this is the account that defrauded me. I want to collect my money back. Is that, not to be, is that not supposed to be straightforward? Do you know what is even happening? People are going to the banks and the banks will tell them they have to pay. You have to pay the bank to complain about fraud. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? So at the end of the day, this, let me tell you guys, oh, the scammers are confident that they can use any bank account in Nigeria to be collecting money from people. Because they know how the system, how bad the system is. There are a lot of ways to, cap to catch bad guys these days. But it's like, you know what I mean? Police will not get up and get involved just like that. They, they won't. They won't. But if he's to arrest somebody that did TikTok, boom, they will do it overnight. 
So there is corruption in every sector, including the banks. Somebody was duped of five, 400,000 or something like that. They said, your oh, family member is sick. Oh, send money. The person have another that was a scam. He went to the bank. And the bank is telling him, they say for every, I think they say for every 50,000 is 5,000 commission. You have to pay the bank. If it's uh, 500,000, you have to pay 50,000 to get your money back. Is you You're now forced to sit and ask yourself, is the bank working together with the scammers? Is the... Uh, let me not start talking too much uh, because the whole story is kind of linked because this look at the whole look at the whole country look at the whole country kidnapping has been going on for how long now you would think by now it will be dying down dying down it's not dying down it's not a, i don't know i saw that story i wanted to share with you guys because i don't even know what to think about the whole thing anymore i don't as i now that i'm making this video i don't the guy has not been released and I don't think there's been any story of a, ran a ransom. I know sometimes some families may keep it quiet because the kidnappers will say, don't be broadcast it, whatever, whatever. But I just felt like when you hear these stories, it just makes you sit down and ask yourself, which way in Nigeria? Which way? Which way? I don't know. Whatever your opinions are about the story, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.